human remains were found in a barrel floating in a lake. Two bodies have been found in two barrels in Lake Hartwell. That they were human remains in the barrel. And, and help solve the mystery of a body in a barrel. A man's body inside a barrel bobbing in the water. Where human remains were found inside a barrel. Yeah, a man has been found dismembered in a barrel filled with concrete. Whose body was found in a barrel by the Carlo River. The man found stuffed in a barrel floating in the bay. The sheriff's office responded to a call about a body found inside of a barrel. A five gallon drum filled with concrete and what they suspected were human remains. When she opened the barrel, she found what appeared to be decaying human remains. Discovered a 55 gallon drum floating inside the Malibu Lagoon here at Malibu State Park. And they pulled it to shore and inside they discovered a uh, deceased human body. Today uh, we are scanning Lake Whitman for missing person Eric Wells, missing out of Pierce County, Washington, and uh, Lake Whitman. We are hitting this boat launch and doing the whole perimeter of the lake. Uh, we are looking for a white four-door Mercedes-Benz CLS 550. No Washington tags on it yet. We do have a VIN number. Uh, just checking the boat launch. We had a pretty clean bottom. We did have a couple small objects. There's one little object right there. There's another and another. So it was exhausting, didn't find any vehicles, didn't find any boats, but we did scan the lake entirely. We did find three barrels and we were able to go out and lift them up.
between here and that little island out there. And the three barrels were probably about a 30 foot radius apart. I just scanned it again, marked all three of my targets, dove down and lifted them up with a lift bag. And then basically just swim back, hauling them and, and rolling them out of the water. We also have people that are missing without a vehicle. And uh, we want to make sure there's no people in the barrels. So we went down there and uh, they weren't filled with concrete, but we ended up lifting them up. So we're going to open these up and try to figure out if anybody is any uh, remains or anything in these barrels. Worst case scenario, uh, we're cleaning up the environment by getting this stuff out of the water because I don't know why you would put uh, a, a barrel or a drum in the water. These are like uh, the, the inlets right here. Like, uh -huh. that's, that's where the oil would pour out of and then okay. it's just like a, a vent hole. Okay. So it'd be pretty impossible to actually get a body in here. You know what I mean? Because they're all welded shut. The tops are all welded on. Okay, so I didn't know I didn't know that. So I didn't know if like you could just weld them on afterwards or anything like that. No, okay. No, they're, they're factory sealed and stuff like that. And this is the only parts that would open up just that and that. Just, gotcha. Just, just to pour it out and then for the vent hole to vent it, you know. See, there's a ring that goes around right here. This, yeah. This part would totally come off and it's, it's separate and there's a ring right. that goes around it and then there's like a little arm that you pull it and it clamps it closed. Okay. Blue, the well, blue the, plastic are metal too. I'm talking about metal ones too. Oh, but okay. They, yeah, they, they look just like this. They have these on them too, the spout and the, okay. the uh, vent, but they just, the top, this whole top would come off. It, and all three of these are, are all welded. Yeah, they're all So the, the probability of somebody being in here is probably pretty much like low, yeah, low to yeah, nothing. Yeah, pretty much. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, they're all, it looks like they're all pretty factory sealed because yeah, if they somebody cut them off and like re-weld re them, it'd be kind of hard. Actually, yeah. they're, they're not even welded. I don't think they're rolled, I think. I think they're rolled on, okay. on there. Okay, okay. I mean, worst case scenario, I guess it's an environmental cleanup. Wow, he's got it. Yeah, my flashlight died on, on my gear, so I don't have a light. Oh, really? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, it's got. It's empty. Empty? Okay. Totally empty. Good. Lake Whitman is searched and cleared. We did not find any cars, boats, or uh, any missing people inside barrels. We did pull out three barrels, so we'll go on to the next lake and start our search area over there. We are searching for Eric Wells, but we are also keeping an eye open for Rio Boyd. They both went missing in the Spanaway area of 2023. Rio Boyd went missing in October of 2023, and Eric Wells went missing between McKenna to Spanaway area of February of 2023. Eric Wells was changing a flat tire on the McKenna area of February 16, 2023. He was driving a white four-door Mercedes-Benz make CLS 550. He had a cell phone ping. His last cell phone ping was in the Spanway area, uh, two miles around the tower, uh, around the Prairie Elementary area, just south of Spanway Lake. 